Systems by Gina Servetti and Jonathan Curley. Today we'll be reading the book Systems from our Amplify Science curriculum. As we read, think about the parts of each system and the function of each part in that system. Here we have the table of contents. We can see that on the fifth page, what makes a wheel, a wheel is what we'll be discussing. So then we will look at bicycle parts and a bicycle system. As you read that, think about the function of each bicycle part and what it has to do in order to make the bicycle work. Then we'll move on to talking about homes. A home has many systems and which we use to make ourselves comfortable enough to live there. So inside the home, we're gonna be talking about the different systems that there are, including plumbing, heating, and electrical. After that, we'll move on to reading about larger systems. So a public water system or an electrical energy system are both things that we can um, see on a big scale. The last two things that we're going to learn about is what happens when systems fail and why do we need to learn and know about systems. At the end we have the glossary which I will read to you just so you can understand a few more words. Anytime we get to a bold word in the book that you do not know, you may always look it up in the book that you have accessible to you in the classroom. What makes a wheel a wheel? This is a wheel from a bicycle. You have probably seen a bicycle wheel before, but have you ever really thought about why a wheel is the way it is? It's the structure of a wheel, the way the wheel is shaped and built that makes it a wheel. This wheel is round and has long, thin spokes crossing in the middle. The spokes keep the wheel from bending out of shape. Why is the structure of the wheel important? Its structure has to do with its function, what it does or what it is used for. The function of this wheel is to roll so that the bicycle can move forward. Bicycle parts. A wheel is just one part of a bicycle. A bicycle is made of lots of parts. One bike can have more than a hundred different parts. Each part of a, of a bicycle has a function and a structure that helps the part perform its function well. So in a bicycle, we have pedals, brakes, front wheel, back wheel, frame, handlebars, chain, gear, and seat. This table lists some bicycle parts and the function for each bicycle. Part. One part is the seat. Its function is holding up the person who is riding the bike. Another part is the handlebars. The function is steering the bike. Another part is the frame. Its function is holding the other parts of the bike together. Another part is the pedal. What is the function of the pedal? That's what I would like you to think about. A bicycle is a system. Of course, bike parts don't do much good unless they're all put together to make a bicycle. You can't ride just a wheel. A bicycle with all its parts connected is a system. A system is a group of parts that work together. When the pedals on a bicycle move, they turn the gear. When the gear turns, it moves the chain. The moving chain makes the back wheel turn and that pushes the bike forward. The handlebars are connected to the frame. The handlebars, frame, and front wheel work together for steering. All the parts of a bicycle have to work together for the bicycle to work. 
A home is a system. People even live in systems. Any house or apartment is a system. It has parts such as a roof, walls, doors, windows, floors, sinks, and toilets. These parts all have different functions. The roof keeps the rain and snow from coming in. The windows let in light but keep cold, keep out cold air. The sinks bring in water for drinking and washing. All of these parts work together to make a place that is comfortable and safe for people to live in. Systems made of systems. A system can be made of smaller systems. For example, one part of a bicycle is a wheel. The wheel is part of the bicycle, but it is also a system itself. The wheel is a system because it is made of parts. A tire, the inner tube with air inside the tire, a round rim, and spokes, and more. These parts have functions and work together. The system of a home is also made up of smaller systems. For example, houses have systems for water, heating, and electrical energy. Each system is made up of many parts that all work together. A house has many t systems. On the pages that follow, we'll look at each system shown here. Yellow is electrical, red and blue is heating, and green, pink, and purple is plumbing. Home plumbing system. One important system in a home is the plumbing or water system. The plumbing system is made up of many parts, pipes, drains, faucets, sinks, toilets, showers, and more. These parts all work together to bring clean water into the home and take away dirty water. The purple stands for cold water, pink for hot water, and green for dirty water. Hot water heater, pipes, Clean water coming in, dirty water going out. Home heating system. Homes in cold places have heating systems for heating. In many houses, the heating system includes a furnace that heats up air as well as tubes called air ducts. The ducts send the hot air out to different parts of the house and bring cold air back into the furnace. There's also a thermostat which measures the temperature of the air in the house. The thermostat turns the furnace on when the house gets cold. All of the parts of the heating system work together to keep the house warm. Blue is for cold air. Orange is for hot air. Air ducts. Furnace. Home electrical system. To use lights, computers, toasters, refrigerators, televisions, and other electrical devices, people need electrical systems in their homes. A home electrical system has wires, outlets for plugging devices in, and switches for turning electricity on and off. It also has a meter for measuring how much electrical energy the household uses, the circuit breakers that shut off the system if something goes wrong. So here we have outlets, electrical meter, and circuit breakers, and wires. Part of a larger system. Just as the system can be made up of smaller systems, a system can also be part of a larger system. A house can be part of a town or a city. A town or a city is a larger system that has many parts. Some of the parts are houses. But there are other parts. There are other kinds of buildings. There are also roads, sidewalks, and much more. Can you think of an even bigger system than a city is a part of? Public water system. A home plumbing system is part of a larger system. The public water system. The public water system collects water, makes sure the water is clean, and sends water out of the homes farms, and businesses. It is made up of parts that work together, such as pipes and pumps. 
homes, water tank, pumps, water treatment plant, and pipes. Electrical energy system. The electrical energy system in a home is also part of a larger electrical sys energy system. The larger system has power plants and wires that go to all the different parts of a town or city, bringing electrical energy into businesses, schools, and homes. We call those wires the electrical grid. Power plant, electrical grid, homes, school, homes and businesses. System failure. A system can change in some ways and still keep working. For example, there are some ways a bicycle can be changed. The seat could be moved higher or lower, the and the bicycle would still work. Someone can put fancy handlebars or wide dirt bike tires on a bicycle and it would still work. But if a system changes in the wrong way or if it is missing an important part, that causes a system failure. In a system failure, the system stops working. If a bicycle lost its pedals, it would not work. A bicycle with bent wheels would not work either. System failures can cause big problems. You can imagine the problems people might have if their home plumbing system failed. Someone made changes to this bike, but it still works. Because of the way this bike has changed, the system doesn't work anymore. This home plumbing system has failed. Why think about systems? Scientists and engineers think about systems a lot. Why is it useful to think about something as a system? Why think of a bike as a system and not just as a bike? Engineers think about systems because it helps them fix systems that are broken and figure out how to design systems that work better. If you want to fix a failure in an electrical system, you need to understand what the all the different parts of the system are and how they work together. Understanding a system can help you figure out how to fix it. Scientists think about systems because it helps them understand the structure and function of each part. Thinking about a system helps scientists understand how the parts work together. Scientists study many kinds of systems, body systems, the solar system, ecosystems, and more. Look around you. What systems do you see? This scientist studies systems in nature called ecosystems. What do you think some of the parts of an ecosystem might be? Glossary. The purpose of a glossary is to tell you words that are in bold in the text that you might not be sure what they mean. Here are the words that were bolded in this book and their definitions to help us better understand. Design. To try to make something new that solves a problem. Electrical device. A machine that converts electrical energy to another form. Electrical energy. The form of energy that is transferred through wires. Electrical grid. Wires that transfer electrical energy from many sources to many other places. Energy, the ability to make things move or change. Engineer, a person who uses science knowledge to design something in order to solve a problem. Failure, when something stops working. Function, what something can do. Plumbing, a way of using pipes and drains to move water around. Structure, the way something is shaped or what it is made out of that makes it good for a specific function. System, a group of parts that work together. Table, a place to record information using words and numbers, usually inside lines and boxes. And temperature, how hot or cold something is.